Hello everyone. In this video you are going to learn about the stress analysis of cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load by using ANSYS. In this drawing you can see that the cantilever beam with the uniformly distributed load and the cross section for this beam is T section. So the dimension shown in this T section is in millimeters. And here you can see the dimensions are in meters. So it is easier to convert your uh, units from meter to millimeters okay so the dimensions for this uh, cross section here of uh, T section is given as 150 as you are with W1 and W2 and uh, the thickness is 30 and 30 T1 and T2 in the left hand side you can see that you can write as the fixed end is given as A and the load acting at the point is B and the ending point should be taken as C. So the distance between B and C is given as 1.6 meter and you can convert it as a millimeter that is 1600 millimeter and we can find the distance between point A and B. So the total distance of the uh, beam is 2 meter that is 2000 millimeter minus 1600 we can get 400 millimeters for the distance between A and B and now the load which is acting in uh, uh, the distance between uh, B and C is 5 kilo Newton per meter so we just convert the uh, meter to millimeter as 5 Newton mm so the extra part is the Young's modulus value and the Poisson's ratio. So with the help of these data we can draw the cantilever beam with the uniformly distributed load. Okay, So let me move on to uh, answers. We can start with the preferences. We can start with the structural problem. It is a structural problem. The starting with the preprocessor. Uh, we can start with the element type. We can go to edit your add or edit your element. Uh, we are going to draw a beam element. So we have a 2 node 188 and 3 node 189. Here in this 2 node 188, this is the element of a linear quadratic or a cubic 2 node beam element in 3 dimensional. And uh, here in this 3 node 189, this is the element is nothing but quadratic 3 node beam element in 3 dimensional. So the equivalent part for this two node is nothing but both nodes or both the uh, node functions having six degrees of freedom okay so this six degrees of freedom should be available at each and every node and uh, uh, the node having x y z direction translation and x y z direction in rotation so translation should be there and also rotation should be there and some of the application for this uh, nodes that is uh, beam 2 node 188 and uh, 3 node 189 is nothing but your bimetallic strips and beams with metallic reinforcement and one more is there that is sensors where layers of uh, different materials has been deposited so these are the applications we can implement for this beam 2 node 188 or 3 node 189 so here I want to choose 2 node 188 give ok and cancel here start with the material properties go to the material models and go to structural linear elastic isotropic you can give 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square so the Poisson's ratio is given as 0 0.3 and now you just go for the section go to the beam section common section you can select it from the subtype here we are going to draw this T section so we need to give the W1 value as 150 and W2 as 150 and the thickness T1 and the T2 as 150 sorry 30 and 30 you can preview your T section it is in the form of uh, 150 cross 150 and uh, 30 and 30 okay give okay and now go and the model your beam go to key points and in active coordinate system we can select the first point as 0 comma 0 because it should be start from the origin 
okay give apply and the second point second point should be a 400 because why we are going to give this as second point we can give this point as CA we already start as 0 comma 0 at the first key point and it should be B the second key point the distance we already calculated as 400 okay so because uh, we just start uh, giving our load from point B to C so we need to give the second key point here and third key point here so first key point it should be 0 comma 0 second key point should be 400 comma 0 and the third key point should be 2000 comma 0 okay so now give uh, your second key point as 400 and give apply and your third key point should be of entire span length that is 2000 2000 and give okay so now we created one two three key points we must join this key points with the help of a straight line one to two and from two to three so now we need to go for meshing so go to size control um, manual size go to lines and select all lines and here number of divisions I need to give is 100 so both the lines are divided with 100 equal divisions okay so now go to mesh and go to lines pick all and the entire line was meshed okay now we need to go for solution and uh, define loads go to apply in this structure you can go for displacement value and go to key points select the first key point and uh, give all degrees of freedom because it is in a cantilever beam so arrest your translation and also the rotation at the left end and go to pressure on this pressure we need to go for beams if it is a point load we just go for force or moment here there is no point load in this problem we are going to apply the uniformly distributed load so go to pressure and on the beams if you are going to select this part we need to uh, change it as the line region okay so go to plot select lines so in this region you can zoom and go to box here this is a selection option so I need to select from this region from the right end go to fit view you can check the entire second line was selected and give ok and here the load key so the defaultly it should be available as one so one stands for the load or the load direction should be in the x direction and uh, if you want to change the direction for y it should be in second one so the load key should be second means the load should be acting in the y direction so for the I node I node we need to give how much load we are going to give is a 5 Newton per millimeter it just give 5 alone so don't go for uh, node J value it should be remains uh, blank okay so give the first node or first node I as 5 give okay and the entire load UDL was created and go to solve your problem go to current load step and give ok your problem was solved and your solution was done and go to post processing uh, plot your result first check your deformation shape and go to counter plot and check your displacement vector sum ok so if you want to uh, see the entire structure in the three dimensional view go to style size and shape and on your display of elements so this is your elements you already selected as T section okay now the next part we need to find the shear force drawing and the bending moment drawing so first of all define table and go to add in this sequence number we can give the miscellaneous values 3 and 6 16 and 19 so where we go got this values the sequence numbers it should be available in the first video of this uh, YouTube channel you can check uh, the first video you can uh, uh, you can get the exact uh, sequence for 3 cross 16 and 6 cross 19 
So go to counter plot, can go to line element result and check your 3 cross 16 series. You can check with the front view. And now the next combination should be 6 cross 19. Okay. So this is the exact uh, shear force drawing and uh, the unit what we are going to use is a uh, Newton and for bending moment uh, we can use uh, Newton uh, meter okay sorry we are convert we already converted our uh, units from meter to millimeters so our unit should be Newton millimeters okay so now if you want to change uh, your background in white color you can check with this reverse video you can capture your image and save it as bitmap file okay so thanks for watching this video uh, if you have any doubt in this uh, video uh, uh, in this uh, problem you can uh, post your comments in the comment section if you enjoyed this video you can like share and subscribe thank you very much